Prime time tonight. President Trump is in Florida. Give a boost to a political ally. Tweeting today will be in Tampa tonight. A big year for Representative DeSantis, who will be a great governor for Florida. It's a good race, too, going on. Strong on crime, borders, and our Second Amendment. Big help on tax and regulation cuts. Loves our military and our vets. Has my full and total endorsement. RNC Chairwoman Ramana McDaniel is here to talk about this and a lot more. He's going up against Adam Putnam, a well-known Republican. It seems this race has changed. It seemed like Putnam had a lead in the polling, a lot of undecideds, but now it has broken into Santos's favor. How do you see it right now, Rana? Well, you're seeing where the energy of the Republican Party is right now, and it is solidly behind the president. And as he's endorsed in these races, you've seen a shift for the candidates that he's supported. You saw it last week in Georgia with Kemp. You've seen it with McMaster in South Carolina. You saw it with Kate Arrington uh, in South Carolina. So as he endorses these candidates, his base goes to these candidates, and, and it gives them a big boost. And you're seeing that right now in Florida. You just heard Kellyanne Conway put the, uh, put the odds on a Republican keeping control of Congress. I think she was about about 50 percent. I think a lot of people might feel that way. Um, but I, I, we came across a few headlines today that, that gave us a question. Byron York writes this, all right? After 30 days of blank, uh, GOP midterm elections fear rises, all right? We got another one in Wall Street Journal. Trump's lose the House strategy. He might not mind Speaker Pelosi as a political foil for 2020. Have you seen those pieces? And what do you think? Yeah, I mean, the president's all in on keeping the majority in the House. We know Nancy Pelosi would be a disaster for our country. She called the tax cuts that have increased paychecks for millions of Americans crumbs. She's completely out of touch. Um, she'll bring impeachment proceedings. These are not things that we want. But we know the history. Listen, the, there are 23 districts where Hillary Clinton won, where we have Republicans that either held those seats or are currently in those seats. We know that uh, typically the president in his first midterm loses seats in that in that first election. We are working to defy history. That's why the RNC has raised record money. We just completed our National Week of Action, where we had 4,000 people knocking doors, contacting 2 million voters. We know what we're up against, and we have a record to run on with record unemployment, with ISIS on the run, with our military being funded, with deregulation, our economy booming, a great GDP number. So there are things that we can take to the American people as deliverables and say, this is what we've accomplished in just a year and a half. Let's not turn back the clock and send it back to the Pelosi, Schumer, Dark Well, ages. you've got a case to make. Let's see how the people feel about it. Uh, and then we've got this tweet from earlier today from the White House. The globalist Koch brothers, who have become a total joke in real Republican circles, are against strong borders and powerful trade. I never sought their support because I don't need their money or bad ideas. They love my tax and regulation cuts, judicial picks, and more. I made them richer. Their network is highly overrated. I've beaten them at every turn. They want to protect their companies outside the U.S. from being taxed. I'm for America first and the American worker, a puppet for no one. Two nice guys with bad ideas make America great again. Koch brothers give a lot of money to Republicans, especially on the Senate side. How do arguments yeah, like that help? Well, it was very disappointing to see yesterday that they are not going to support Kevin Kramer in this all too important North Dakota Senate race. Heidi Heitkamp voted against the tax cuts. She has not been a supporter of the policies the president has put forward to boost this economy. And Kevin Kramer absolutely has. So, you know, they are ideologues. They are not just supporting Republicans. Uh, they're also sort of supporting Democrats. That's why the president has been so supportive of the RNC. The party is where the data is. The party is where we're building our infrastructure. We do the ground game because we're not going to equivocate on who we're going to support. We're supporting Republicans. We're supporting majorities that are going to help this president pass his agenda. Hope you come on back. Ronald McDaniel, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. You bet.